ایٹیچیوڈ کا اگر ہم اردو میں ترجمہ کریں تو اس کا ترجمہ ہے رویہ پلیز ڈو ناٹ کنفیوز ایٹیچیوڈ ود ایپٹیچیوڈ ایپٹیچیوڈ از رجحان ایٹیچیوڈ از رویہ میرا آپ سے پہلا سوال یہ ہے کہ آپ مجھے یہ بتائیے کہ کیا آپ کے خیال میں ایٹیچیوڈ جو ہے ہم پیدائشی طور پہ حاصل کرتے ہیں یا ایٹیچیوڈ جو ہے یہ بنتا ہے زندگی میں آپ کا کیا خیال ہے اور پھر مجھے یہ بھی بتائیے کہ آپ کے خیال میں رجحان جو ہے ایپٹیچیوڈ کیا وہ پیدائشی طور پہ ایک شخص میں موجود ہوتا ہے یا کیا وہ بھی زندگی کے ساتھ ساتھ نش و نما کے ساتھ ساتھ بدلتا چاہتا ہے اور بڑھتا چلا جاتا ہے کیا خیال ہے آپ کا آپ جو اندازہ لگا رہے ہیں وہ ٹھیک اندازہ لگا رہے ہیں ایٹیچیوڈ از سم تھنگ دیٹ از ایکوائرڈ دیٹ از لرنڈ وی آر ناٹ بارن ود این ایٹیچیوڈ اف اے پرسن از بارن ان فار انسٹنس اے کنٹری لائک the united states of america he would in all probability be a christian his attitude towards church would be positive if a person is born in for instance a country like pakistan he would be a, in all probability be a muslim and his attitude towards the mosque would be positive The attitude of the person that's born in America towards a mosque, we don't know whether it's going to be positive or negative. Similarly, the attitude of a person born in, in a country like Pakistan, we don't know what his attitude might be towards a place like a church. But we know that because he is born in a christian dominated society and when we know that if another person is born in a muslim dominated society a person who is born in the christian dominated society his attitude towards christianity and church would be positive and a person who is born in the muslim community or country his attitude towards a mosque and muslims would be positive So we are not talking about acquiring, we are not talking about inheriting an attitude. It is what we learn. Whereas Rujhan or aptitude is like some people have athletic aptitude. Some people are non-athletic. You have seen children who are more than the way of the game, and who are more than the time in the game, and some children are such that they are not آپ میں مصروف رہتے ہیں کبھی کتاب پڑھ لی یا کبھی اٹھ کے ٹی وی دیکھ لیا لیکن کھیل کود میں بھاگنے دوڑنے میں ان کا دھیان نہیں ہوتا وچ مینس دیٹ دے آر لیس اتھلیٹک یو مسٹ ہیو سین پیپل ہو آر ویری گڈ ان پکنگ اپ نوٹس آف میلوڈیز ہو کین سنگ ویری ویل اینڈ یو مسٹ ہیو سین پیپل ہو ہیو لرنٹ میوزک بٹ اسٹل کانٹ میک ایز گڈ میوزک دیز آر ایگزامپلز آف ایپٹیچیوڈ Those children who are born with athletic attitude, aptitudes are excellent sports. And those children or people who are born with a musical aptitude excel in music. Aptitude, therefore, is something that we inherit. Now, we are not talking about aptitude. We will talk about aptitude in the relevant section when we, are, when we come to that. For the time being, we are talking about attitude. Ravaya. Ravaya hum. سیکھتے ہیں وی سوشلی لرن ایٹیچیوڈس اٹ از نتھنگ ان بارن ونس وی ہیو لرنڈ ایٹیچیوڈس اور این ایٹیچیوڈ اٹ ہیز تھری کمپوننٹس دیر آر تھری پارٹس ٹو این ایٹیچیوڈ وٹ آر دوز تھری پارٹس نمبر ون اٹ میکس اس تھنک ان اے سرٹن وے مائی ایٹیچیوڈ ٹوڈس مائی ریلیجن makes me think in a positive manner towards religion. It makes me think my cognition, my thinking is affected by my attitude. Or you can say that an attitude has 
a cognitive or a thinking component, a thinking part of it. Other part of an attitude is what is called the conative part, the behavioral part of an attitude. Attitude makes a person behave in a certain way. It not only makes person thinks in a certain way, it also makes him behave in a certain way. A person's attitude towards his religion is positive. It makes him think positive about religion and it also makes him behave positively towards religious symbols or religious personalities or religious books. So the second component of an attitude is the behavior, the cognitive part of it. And the third component of attitude is what's called the affective component. It makes a person feel in a certain way. The third element or the third part or the third component of an attitude is the feeling, the sentiment, the emotional component of an attitude. All attitudes have an emotional or a feeling component attached to them. A positive attitude has positive affective or positive feelings attached to it. And a negative attitude has negative feelings attached to it. If a person has a positive attitude for a person or an ideology or an object, he will feel pleasant emotions about that person, that object or that ideology. If a person has a negative attitude about a person or an object or an ideology, he will feel negative emotions towards the person, the ideology, or the object. And that is what is meant by the affective part of an attitude. Attitude then is something that is the part and parcel of a personality which a person learns, which makes him behave in a certain way, which makes him think in a certain way, and which makes him feel in a certain way. You may have or a person may have negativity or positivity related to attitudes. In organizational psychology, we say there are two aspects to an attitude. That is positive effectivity. Positive effectivity of an attitude refers to a feeling of well-being a feeling of being involved pleasantly in life situations, a feeling of pleasure being part of an organization. And then you have negative effectivity, whereas a person may feel distressed, worried, tense, or nervous in an organization because of a certain negativity or negative effectivity. Attitude of a person, therefore, tremendously influences his overall well-being, his relationship with other people in an organization, his mental or physical health, his being able to do or not do good work in the organization, his productivity or lack of productivity in an organization. That is how important attitude is. What are some of the functions of an attitude? Attitude, humare liye, kya functions perform kar raha hai, kisi shaks ke liye. Agar hum dekhe, to attitude jo hai, wo bahut se functions perform karta hai. Lekin, we need to look at three functions of attitude. The first is the adjustment function. Attitude helps to adjust a person. My positive attitude towards my fellow worker, towards my organization, 
helps me to get adjusted to the organization. A person who has a negative attitude, would that attitude would hinder his adjustment to the organization and other people in the organization. So, one of the functions of attitude is that it creates, helps adjustment in an organization. Dusra function jo hai attitude ka, that is what is called ego defense function. Attitude helps to defend a person. Attitude is a kind of a shield that a person can use. My positive attitude towards my organization makes me overlook certain painful things related to an organization. The painful things might be that the organization does not pay as much as other organizations do. And that is a painful perception to have or a painful knowledge to have, but my attitude defends me against this pain because I have a positive attitude towards the organization. My positive attitude towards my boss also helps me to defend myself in the sense that if my boss is less than honest in, honest in an organization, I tend to ignore that dishonesty in him. And that is how I, the, the attitude that I have of positive effectivity towards my boss helps me to defend my ego, defend my judgment about my boss. That's another function that attitude performs. And the third function that attitude performs is that it helps to express values. Value expression function of attitude means that the attitude of a person in the overall sense, in the overall expression of his life helps him in properly expressing the values that he holds near. My positive attitude, for instance, towards my organization helps me to spread the good word about my organization around me. My positive attitude towards my boss helps me to spread the good word about my boss around me. And that is the third function of attitude. Or be attitudes ke functions hain. But for the time being at this level, you need to know only these three.